Hello everybody, welcome back to Organic Knowledge, and in today's video we will be delving into a class of cytotoxic agents termed ribosome inactivating proteins, more conveniently referred to as RIPs or RIPs. So now, what are RIPs? Well, they are proteins of plant or microbial origin that ultimately inhibit protein synthesis via ribosome inactivation. Protein synthesis, also known as translation, involves three key steps initiation, elongation, and termination. In this case, RIPs typically inhibit the elongation step through inactivation of elongation factors. RIPs are broken up into two classes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 RIPs contain only a single polypeptide chain, termed the A chain, while type 2 have a second chain known as the B chain. These two chains, and type 2 RIPs, are linked via a disulfide bond. The A chain is the toxic portion of the protein due to its RNA glycosidase activity, which results in the depurination of adenines in the ribosomal RNA subunits of ribosomes. This base deletion promotes conformational changes that do not allow elongation factors to bind. Therefore, the polypeptide cannot elongate. The B chain, on the other hand, helps to transport RIPs into the cell. They do this by binding to specific sugar residues on the plasma membrane. Two examples would be glycoproteins or glycolipids. After receptor binding, such proteins are internalized by endocytosis, a process used to bring substances within cells. Many studies have suggested that RIPs can induce cell apoptosis, or controlled cell death, as compared to necrosis. Using these observations, RIPs have been implicated in cancer therapy as targeting agents for proliferating cells. Although RIPs occur in both plants and microbes, the two do not usually have identical mechanisms for ribosome inactivation, with the shigatoxin being an exception as it behaves identically to plant RIPs. Using this newfound background knowledge, we are going to take a brief look at a specific type 2 RIP known as Abrin. Abrin is obtained from the seeds of Abris precatorius, also known as Chakriridae beans. These plants have been historically used as ornamental plants as well as children's toys. In regards to its extraction procedure, it is rather non-laborious and relatively cheap. Abrin is soluble in water and can be extracted with some simple aqueous extractions and chromatographic steps. Following purification, Abrin makes up a very small portion of the total bean mass, with an estimated weight percent of 0.05%. Within Abrin, the A chain has 251 amino acid residues with an approximate weight of 30 kilodaltons, and the B chain is 35 kilodaltons with around 60% of its amino acid residues identical to ricin, which will be the subject of a subsequent video. The B chain primarily binds the cells of the reticuloendothelial system, which contains mannose receptors. Now, the overall mechanism of ribosome inactivation involves mitochondrial membrane damage and production of reactive oxygen species, or ROS species, such as superoxide and hydroxyl radicals. Abrin also induces endothelial damage that increases capillary permeability and tissue edema, which is characteristic of vascular leak syndrome. Ultimately, apoptosis is triggered. Abrin behaves identically to that of ricin, and if you would like more specific mechanistic details, I would suggest jumping over to that video. Of the numerous routes Abrin can enter the body, the oral route appears to be the least toxic route. As upon ingestion, previous biochemical studies have demonstrated substantial digestion by trypsin, a serine protease within the GI tract. On the other hand, parenteral administration allows for complete Abrin dissemination, and lethality can be observed from as little as 0.3 micrograms per kilogram of body weight. Elimination in the body is performed primarily by the kidneys following parenteral administration. Due to the ease at which Abrin can be extracted and purified, it has been classified as a potential chemical warfare agent. Though only present in minute quantities within Jacurity beans, its high toxicity plays a leading role in its use as a harmful agent. Once isolated, Abrin can be formed into a powder or aerosol droplets for larger scale dissemination. Alright, that is all the time we have today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you for watching. And long story short, stay away from Jacurity beans. <laughs> alright, farewell.